I'm back with another thing I found foreign as an American in Australia. Power prices. That's a crazy one. So when I first moved down to Australia, the power prices back where I'm from in the Midwest, about one US cent per kilowatt hour. Not so bad. That was more than five years ago now. Come down to Australia and the prices are more like 45 cents per kilowatt hour. Now that is in Australian cents or dollar dues or whatever you want to call them. So if you want to look in US, that's about 29 US cents. So we're talking from one cent to about 29. That's not great. I found that quite staggering. So the prices are crazy high. And maybe it's because where I'm from is predominantly nuclear and Australia hates nuclear. I don't really understand why. Probably because it's scary, right? It's scary. So there's been what, three nuclear big accidents? So since I've been away from the US, it's been eye-opening to me to talk to people because they love to talk about nuclear, or I do. And I like to ask people why, why is it like this? How did it get like this? And when it comes to nuclear, you have to think of it like a plane crash versus driving a car. You're considerably more likely to die in a car crash, but man, plane crashes are super scary. And I think that's the best analogy that I've ever heard when it comes to nuclear and coal, because coal actually has more deaths per terawatt hour produced than nuclear does. Now, I will give it to Australia at this point, it will take them at least a decade, probably more like 12 years, if they really wanted to build some nuclear to even have one nuclear plant. They're very behind and their first nuclear thing is gonna be a submarine they bought from the US. Now, the US gets a lot of their uranium from Australia. So it's a, it's a weird one. I'm just gonna leave that one there. And there's talk of bringing some of the nuclear waste to sit it out in the outback. And again, I find this quite interesting because now you, you're you giving the natural resource to someone else and taking the waste and not really getting much benefit from the natural resource. Now, when it comes to this crazy high bill, right? So now we're talking 30 US cents a kilowatt hour down in Australia. The crazy thing is the power networks, I'll take South Australia, for example. So South Australian power network, they provide the power and a third party owns the meters so it's not the power company that owns the meters. And the company that owns the meters doesn't do the billing. There's 50, 50, five zero different retailers that pay for access to the data on the meters and then charge you a bill to get access to your power coming from the state. Or I'm sorry, it used to be a state run power company. It's now private. It does have the state in its name so basically the state-run power company, and then you got like several middlemen, and you can sort of see why it's so expensive. But how did it get like this? I would say it's sort of the inshittification of public services, breaking things off and privatizing them, and then looking at the politicians that go work at these services afterwards, and then, you know, scratch your head, but you don't really have to, because you can sort of see it in plain daylight because it's cool. Rules for thee, but not for me. Is that where things are going here? I'm not sure. Am I way off base? You should drop me a comment because this has been a, another one of those things that has really made me scratch my head for the last few years, living down in Australia, coming from the US. The power bills are crazy, especially for a place that has so much room for solar and honestly, incredibly stable tectonic plates. You could do so much nuclear. My craziest idea is probably taking nuclear, putting it near the coast, running desalinization plants near the coast, pumping that water inland and starting to de-desertify Australia so you can have more arid farmland and then maybe move people more than 50 miles in from the coast. A staggering percentage, I think it's above 95, it's probably above 98% of Australians live within only a few miles of the coast because it's real hot in the center because it's desert. Is any of that gonna happen? Who knows? I guess power prices are just gonna stay up and it's wild because they know they're gonna go up. You get an email saying, the power prices are gonna go up in six months. And I'm sitting here thinking, if you know the power prices are gonna go up in six months, why don't you do something about it? Maybe they won't, maybe they will. I'm not sure why they're not doing anything about it, but I guess enjoy your high bills from whatever random retailer you're with now. We'll see you next time.